Welcome back. We are here looking at the, the commodities market and the precious metals market. And this is going to be my daily forecast for Friday, June 4th, 2021. If you like to support the channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down in the corner. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our news videos. And we'll start by looking at the US dollar index. And did definitely not see this coming. So one conclusion for, for the day Wall Street does not like uh, good news, and um, good news is basically seen as okay. Uh, Fed is probably going to um, to do less monetary policy or less intervention in the market and less liquidity, and um, that is probably just bogus. But that is what the market reacted on. Basically, good news for for the jobless claim. So. So the dollar went up roughly um, 0.77%, and that's a fairly uh, massive rally, and it had major implications for, for most of the precious metals commodities that we are going to look at. Probably not oil, did not have that much effect on oil. Uh, but at this point, if you look at technical industry, they're all turning around, becoming bullish. We'll run into a fair amount of resi resistant here at the 90.67 and then the 50 moving average at 91.06 to the downside we need to break below the middle of bullish band in order to go back towards 89.5 so let's look at oil so oil has crossed the previous highs here and now it looks like it's just uh, building up momentum before going higher if we were to roll over here then the 20 exponential at 66 and the 50 down here at 63 they should offer a fair amount of support as we have basically seen in the past and also right here for example if you look at technical indicators we can see the macd is bullish stochastic is bullish cci is bullish and the rsi is flat not a lot of room to the upside uh and uh, after this rally here, usually it falls back towards the middle before going higher. 70 is going to be the target. So let's look at natural gas. So natural, ga natural gas has pulled back after this uh, rally here. Uh, when we went way outside of the bullish band. And usually what happens here is that we fall towards the middle or even the bottom, which is at uh, 2.9. Technical indicators there are... Well, all flat at this point. So it looks like we're heading back towards the middle of the bullish band. But if this breaks, then we could drop to roughly 2.9. So let's look at copper. So copper got absolutely bashed today. So it is um, in the four hour chart, one hour chart, uh, significantly oversold. So we could see uh, a minor rally up towards the middle of this uh, candlestick here the previous size roughly at 4.5 that's probably as far as this will go um, 50 moving average looks like it's going to be the target at this point it has uh, in the past when we have seen these rallies like this went outside of the bullish band broke it down towards all the way to the 50 moving average and it looks like we are going to see very similar move here if the 50 moving average breaks then we could drop all the way down to four and probably the 200 moving average, moving average at 3.6 but 50 moving average has been massive support for uh, for copper and considering that uh, most economies are gonna spend a heck of a lot of uh, physical policy or do a, a lot of physical policy the next coming years and uh, copper is one of those uh, major um, metals that everybody uses for everything especially building um, then demand for this uh, for for this metal it will definitely increase in the future but at this point technically they're not favoring that they do favor the downside still so let's look at gold so this was always going to happen um, Gold was on a massive rally from the very bottom here of the 1676 all the way up towards 1915. And it was only a matter of time before we saw a major pullback, which you did see today. Down roughly 2% to the downside and found support at the 20 exponential, which we have seen also in the past. Technical indicators, they are still, uh, they are very bearish at this point, but after a massive fall, then usually they do become very negative. 
Question is whether or not the 20 exponential holds if we stabilize here and then we continue higher or we break towards the 200 moving average of 50 and probably all the way to the very bottom here. That is to be seen. So let's look at silver. So silver was also battered. It went all the way down to the very bottom of the bullish band, which is at $27. And uh, opening at the moment is still trading underneath the 20 exponential. Technical indicators, all of them are pointing to lower levels. So we may well see this drop towards the 50 moving average, which is down at the $26.49. To the upside, doesn't look uh, like we are going to revisit the upside in the next few days. So let's look at platinum. So platinum continues to drop. We have broken below these previous lows here, and it looks like we're going to head towards 1100, probably the 200 moving average at the 1061. Uh, 20 exponential is offer massive amounts of resistance, and as long as that's the case, that will probably drop below before going higher. Technical indicators are all pointing to lower levels at this point. So let's look at pallium. So Pallium is kind of getting ready to pull back again. We ran into a resistance here at the 2868. Technical indicators are all flat at this point. So break below the 50, opens the door all the way down to 27, 26, and then towards 2500, where we also find the 200 moving average. So let's look at aluminium. Aluminium continues to fall towards the 50 moving average. It has offered massive amount of support in the past. We can see it right here. And the uh, question is whether or not it will hold again. If it does hold again, then it is fairly likely that it will continue going higher towards, um, towards the 3000. But at this current stage, um, uh, it, we are dropping towards the 50. And if the 50 breaks, then we will be dropping towards 2250 and then all the way down to 2042. Technical indicators are favoring the downside at this current stage. So let's look at nickel. So nickel really took a hammering. Um, there is quite a lot of resistance within this area here that we have to break through. So from the highest of give or take 18,523 uh, 18, towards uh, 18,110. That is an area that we have to break through in order to go to 19,000 and then 20,000. If we break below the 20 exponential, then we have the 50 here, which we bounced from the last time. And uh, yes, it is to be seen. Technical indicators are all bearish at this point and are favoring uh, the downside. So let's look at sugar. Sugar as well fell towards support at the middle of the bullish band. Technical indicators there are fairly mixed. MACD is flat. No stochastic is bullish. CCI is still in bullish territory, becoming bearish. And the RSI is bearish at this point as well. Break below the 20 exponential, opens the door to the 50, down here at 0 0.1651. So, cotton. Yes, cotton has tried to rally, but is finding. Uh, uh, it's difficult to pass it through the uh, middle of the bullish band of roughly 0 0.8402. Technical indicators are all favoring the upside. MACD is crossed the signal line and other indicators are all bullish. So break above here, we could see this go to the top of the bullish band at 0 0.8964. So let's look at Kokoa. Sorry about that. Didn't want to show off my screen. So, yes, internet's fairly slow at this point. Um, so, Kakoa, we uh, ran into resistance at the middle of the bullish band and dropped, trading at 23.99 at this current stage. And if we manage to take out these lows here, that is very likely that will go towards 23.15. Technical negatives are all favoring the downside at this point. There is uh, 
quite a lot of resistance within this area here that we are not managing to get through. Every time we get close to it, it basically breaks it down. So let's look at wheat. So wheat has turned around as I feared at the, at the middle of the Bollinger Band. We uh, have tested it three times and now we're broken down quite substantially and trading just above the 50 moving average. If we break below the 50 moving average, we could head towards 60, 650 and the very bottom here at 638 and the 50 moving average down at 626. Technical indicators, we can see the MACD is bearish, the stochastic is bullish, the CCI is bearish and the RSI is bearish as well. So momentum looks like it is to the downside. So I hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support John by subscribing, hit the like button, the bell button to see our new videos and good luck and thank you very much.